Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this very simple spider diagram in Word. So let's open a new document. So the first thing is to just change the orientation of this page. So go up to layout, orientation and landscape. Now we're going to go to insert, shapes, go down to the circle, click hold down your shift key so you create a perfect circle and then release. Here we need to make a black border line and a white background. So make sure you're on shape format. If you're not, it's because you haven't selected it. Then go to this icon here, which is the outline, change it to black, then go down, then go over to shape fill and make sure it's white. Then go to insert, text box, click draw text box, click and draw out a text box. Then once you've selected it and you're on the shape format tab, go over here to the dimensions and here we're going to put in 2.5 and here we're going to put in 6.5 and press enter. And those are the dimensions of our text box. Inside here, I'm going to put some sample text. So just double click until your cursor appears here. Just type in your text, whatever text you need. Then I'm going to deselect it and reselect it. Then I can customize it, go to the home tab. I'm going to increase the font size by using this increase font size tool here. Then I'm going to center it. Now I could put my cursor here and press the return key, but you can see how my text will jump. So in order to put this text in the center of this box, I'm going to go to shape format, go to format pane, and here we have another menu. Make sure you're on shape options and go down to this layout and properties. Then go to top margin here, click the up arrow and watch your text go down to the middle of your box. Now, if you have a lot more text than this to place in the box, let's just write some more text. You want to be able to fit all this text into this box and not make this box any bigger. So click inside the box, press Command or Control A, that will select all of your text. Then go to the Home tab, then go to this Reduce Font Size tool here and just keep reducing that font size until your text is in the middle of the box. Now obviously there's a limited amount of text that you can put in this box until you will have to extend the side of it, until you will have to extend it, but obviously that will mess up the overall look. What you can do is if you need to put a few more lines in here is actually select the box, go back to shape options, go back to the formatting and layout and actually reduce the top margin, giving you room to put more text below here. That's completely up to you. Once you've completed the customization of one text box, the easiest thing to do is to duplicate it, then put your text in the other boxes. So we're just going to select it and copy and paste it. Now there's several ways you can copy and paste. You can select this box, go up to copy on the home tab, deselect the box and press paste. And you can keep selecting paste until you get the right number of boxes. We need eight. Another simple way to copy and paste, select the box, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag. Alternatively, you can select the box, press Command or Control C, deselect Command or Control V, and once again, you can keep just pressing Command or Control V until you have the right number of boxes. So all we're going to do now is we only want one row of these, so I'm just gonna delete all of these. So what you need to do is to place the boxes where you want them to lie on your page. So if I want the boxes really spread out, I can put the top and bottom one here. If I want them really close together, I can put them here. It's all personal taste, but don't worry about the middle boxes. Once you're happy with the spacing, we're just gonna select them all by holding down the command or control key. We're going to then go up to shape format, then go to this alignment tool, click on the drop down. Select Distribute Vertically. This will mean there's an equal space between all of the boxes. Go to Align and then select Align to Center. Then go to this Group tab here 
and select group. This is now all one group. Then all you need to do is copy and paste it. Once they're both selected, go back over to align, select align to middle. That means they're both perfectly aligned. Then we can go back to group. Then we can go back to align, select align to center, and then align to middle. We'll ensure that all of these boxes are now perfectly lined up to our page. Then I'm quickly going to go to send backwards, send to back, which will make it easier for us to select this circle. So select the circle, do exactly the same, align, align to center, align, align to middle. That's now perfectly lined up to our page. Now at this stage you can go through and you can place all the different text in the boxes. All you have to do is select it, go up to the group icon and keep clicking on ungroup until all the boxes are ungrouped and you can go in individually and change all of your text. So if I select ungroup and then go back up, ungroup again, you can see now all of my boxes are ungrouped and I can select them individually. I'm just going to go back up and group them all together so they don't move and now I'm just going to put the lines in and then put the text in the middle. So go to insert, shapes, select the line, just click on the corner here, it doesn't have to be too accurate because it's going to go behind this text box, click and draw out across here. So once we've got the line we can go up to this icon, shape outline again Make sure it's selected, go to black, and then just make sure that this line runs through the corner of this box and through the corner of this box. Then go to send backwards, send to back. And as you can see, if I deselect, that line has gone behind. Now, because we've had to change this to black, to save us some time, we can just select it again and simply copy and paste it. Deselect them both, reselect one, then again we can move it over here and do exactly the same. Command or Control C to copy it, go to send backwards, send to back, deselect, Command or Control V. Now sometimes this is a little more challenging to do, so what you can do is hold down your Alt or Option key or your Control key that sometimes makes it a bit easier to put these lines in place. So as you can see, it does help to zoom in so that you can be a little bit more accurate with those lines. So now we'll just insert the text in the middle of here. Go to insert, text box, draw text box, click and draw out a text box. Then insert your text. Then deselect, reselect, go to the home tab, increase the font size. go to center text, then if I deselect it, you can see we've got this black line around the outside and this white fill color. I'm gonna get rid of both of those. So go to shape format, go to the outline and select no outline, shape fill, select no fill. Then we can just bring the bottom up here. Then we're gonna select both of these, holding down the command or control key, go to align and select align to center. You can select a line to middle, but often the margins at the top and the bottom of the text are slightly different. So when you deselect it, just make sure that you can do this by eye by moving the arrows on your keyboard to make sure you're happy with the placement of that text. Once you're happy with your diagram, you can go to File. You can save this as a Word document, just click Save. Down here you can see Word document, then you can click on the drop down. You can also select PDF if you want to select it as a PDF. Alternatively, if you go to File and save this as a template, make sure it's saved in the templates file 
and under Microsoft Word templates. This means when you open up Word, you can go to your templates and this diagram will be here. You can make lots and lots of changes to it and it would then ask you to save it as a different name, saving the original document that you've always got to hand. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.